The latest now on that plant explosion in Central Texas. Investigators say 14 people are now confirmed dead and there could be even more victims. The search continues this morning for survivors who may be trapped in the rubble as federal investigators continue to examine what is left of that fertilizer plant in West. Many residents have yet to really be able to return to their homes. Eyewitness News reporter Samika Knight joins us live from there and she has the latest on this story. Samika? Well, good morning. We are in downtown West. It's a few miles away from the blast zone, but I have to tell you, I want to give you an idea of what is going on this morning. Uh, take a look here. Still some damage. You'll see some blown out windows and, and some of them boarded up. As we mentioned, a few miles away from the blast, but with that kind of explosion, you can only expect that type of damage. Again, still a lot of work to do, and that is exactly what residents are hoping to do, but I want to show you this. Roads are blocked. No one is being allowed inside the blast zone as that investigation continues. Now, from the air, you could see the five to six blocks of pure devastation. That is the worst of the damage. Eyewitness News was able to make our way inside the perimeter just outside the devastated area, and we found homes with windows blown out, sheetrock falling from the roof, all a result of the West Fertilizer Plant explosion. As we mentioned, 14 people, including a Dallas firefighter who was a resident here in West who showed up there to help with the fire. He died in that blast. As residents want to go back and check on their homes, they say they can't help but think about what happened. We felt like the house kind of picked us up and the bed kind of picked us up and we jumped and we fell down and we grabbed and we kept on, we kept on screaming for my daughter and my other two little granddaughters. Now about 200 people were injured in that blast. Many of them are now out of the hospital. Investigators continue to search the rubble this morning. They tell us they are trying to figure out the cause of that blast. Reporting live here in West, Samika Knight, 13 Eyewitness News. Samika, we know that dozens of people remain unaccounted for at this time. I'm wondering if they've given you an idea of whether this is purely a recovery effort at this point or if there is still hope of perhaps rescuing anyone who may have survived and just be trapped beneath something that may have fallen on them. Well, this morning, ATF investigators say they have gone from uh, rescue to now a rescue and recovery. Uh, I'm sorry, rescue to now recovery. They do not expect to recover uh, any more bodies, I should say, out of that blast. They now are just searching through the rubble, as I mentioned, uh, to try and figure out the cause of the blast. So sad. Samika, you mentioned the cause. You mentioned that the ATF was out there. Who else is out there investigating? And for a while, we know that it was too hot around that area for people to get in. Is it now closed off because it's still being treated as a crime scene? just in case there's something criminal to this? Uh, and Elisa, you said I mentioned the cause. We do not know the cause of the blast at this point. They are still trying to figure that out. Uh, but out here, uh, FBI investigators, you mentioned ATF investigators. In fact, uh, there are so many investigators out here. They are inside the perimeter. We're hearing a lot from uh, ATF investigators. And that second question, I, I, I believe you said, is it too hot for them to go inside? Uh, that fire is completely out. Uh, they are going inside. But they tell us as the invest investigation continues, they're working their way up to the plant. They're working on the outside of the perimeter first. Uh, as we mentioned, a five to six block radius. They're working their way on, from the outside first, and then they're working towards that plant. We do not at this point believe that they are there at the plant, but again, they're working their way up to the plant investigating. All right, Samika Knight, thank you so much for that live report from West Texas this morning. We appreciate it.